this is a video of the new um, Connectome addition to the Neural Navigator here in the right panel. Uh, the uh, regular uh, cortical uh, rendering with the uh, transparent uh, head is on the left. But now we have a connectivity map based upon the Connectome, which we can change both for raw scores or Z scores with this control up here on the right. Uh, we can look just at the, um, the connectome and nothing else, if we wish, for example. And we can uh, change the um, networks. So here's the anxiety network, for example, the attention dorsal network. This is a two-dimensional plot uh, here on the right of the connectome with the occipital uh, lobes on the bottom, uh, frontal lobes on the top, right hemisphere of uh, the hemisphere on the right, and the hemicircle on the left is the left hemisphere. And these are Brahmin areas that uh, are part of this particular network. Here's default network, for example. We can also look at this network in real time uh, between Brahmin areas uh, in three dimensions. So we have both two dimensions and three dimensions here. I'm just going to uh, get rid of the uh, cortex for a minute, go to connectivity and uh, show functional connectivity. Uh, this is of the same network, uh, which is the um, default network. Here's the executive network. Uh, here's the uh, language network. We can do this for different frequencies. I'm going to do this now for theta. And um, we have the same controls, but this now you can see the short distance language network as well as the long distance, the frontal temple and the frontal uh, occipital uh, aspects of language. Uh, and of course, we can then go to a number of different uh, networks. Here's face recognition, um, uh, memory, mirror neuron, mood or depression network. Uh, which allows us to uh, visualize these networks in different ways. We can add the center voxels to the Brahmin areas here. And we can identify each of these Brahmin areas if we wish. This is uh, available on other uh, videos. So the purpose of this is to show a uh, new uh, aspect of a NeuroGuide in which uh, we have the NeuroNavigator uh, allowing us to look at uh, the connectome um, alone by itself, for example, with different networks and different frequencies. Here's the mirror neurons. We're going to expand the size of the fonts uh, here in the future, so it'll be easier to see. Uh, we can look at uh, raw scores. Well, actually, those are z-scores, and we can set the z-score threshold as we wish dorsal attention network. And I'll, I come here and uh, set the z-scores uh, so we can see the uh, network uh, come and go. And you'll be able to see in instances of time, in real time, which connect connections are within the normal range or within uh, a given uh, fixed value for the z-scores. Uh, and uh, you can uh, do that also, of course, for the connectivity uh, uh, um, tubes that are connecting Brahmin areas in three dimensions. And as I change these thresholds, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, the same ones are lit up. The difference now is that this is a three-dimensional volume, and uh, this is a two-dimensional image on the right here, but they're the same things. And again, we have a lot of different controls to allow us to view these networks in real time. And then, of course, uh, also look at the uh, diffusion tensor imaging simply by selecting it. Uh, this is the entire diffusion uh, network uh, based on the colors determine the direction of the connections. Uh, we can also do z-scores uh, of the, of the uh, diffusion tensor imaging uh, network. And we can, again, select raw scores. So we can look at Z and raw 
Uh, and we can launch two neuroguides if you want and look at Z and Ra uh, at the same time, uh, not have to worry about clicking back and forth, but you can see how quickly you can go from uh, Ra to Z and Z to Ra. And so uh, this is a quick uh, view of the new neuro navigator we're presenting today at the American Academy of Neurology meetings, in fact, all week, and it's uh, attracted a lot of attention, and uh, we're very happy uh, that uh, this is an important tool for neurologists now that uh, there's more and more emphasis on brain networks, and this will allow uh, neurologists to evaluate patients' uh, parts of their brain that may not be working well in a stroke patient or a tumor a space occupying lesion patient or a epileptic patient or Parkinson's patient. And then, of course, even with uh, individuals who have cerebellar infarcts, uh, we'll evaluate the cerebellum connectivity. These visualization tools are going to help the neurologist identify the parts of the brain that are uh, not optimal in their functioning versus those that are working well, uh, and to evaluate the efficacy of treatment uh, and see uh, the whole patient rather than just focusing on a single spike or a single event. Oh, you can do that in uh, the neuro navigator. We could uh, use the time domain capture and focus on the uh, ictal and the interictal periods and see exactly what's going on time point by time point. But right now, this is a uh, real time view. You could do this while you're recording EG from a patient or with playback like I'm doing here. So I want to thank you for uh, watching uh, and we're going to continue developing uh, these tools and um, uh, we look forward